Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. This video is going to be a little bit different. It's actually a collaboration video. Um, Miss Rebecca Smith reached out to me and asked if I would do a collaboration with her. Her um, channel name is Crafting with Becca, and I will make sure there's posts. So I'm going to do a video based off of a card that she posted in her YouTube channel. Um, and a card inspired by one of her cards and she's going to do the same with me so um, let me get started and I'll show I'll uh, go down to my table and get started here okay let's get started I'm going to make this card it is inspired by a card she made using rubber bands as the stamps on her and uh, this is a fun fold card an easel card. I am going to do this part a little bit different instead of the three pieces. I think I'm just going to have one piece there. Okay. And for card, I have a couple of scraps. One to stamp the rubber band on and then die cut out the pieces I need. One to stamp the flowers on. I've got some glue on there somehow. I wanted to stamp three flowers on. I have a one inch by five and a half inch piece of thick white, which is scored in half at one, one half inch. I have a three quarter by five and a half inch piece of garden green. I have a five and one eighth by three and seven eighths piece of white, which is a matte layer. I have a five and a half by eight and a half inch card base which I have scored at two and one quarter and four and a quarter and I didn't score it evenly because I kind of wanted it to stand a little bit up um, differently okay these aside for now I also have a garden green piece that is cut out from the stitch rectangle dies that is cut out of the second from the largest the third from the largest I will use to cut out the stamped panel once I cut it, once I uh, do that. Also from those same rectangles I have um, the third from the largest of the um, smaller of the stitch. Sorry about that, I had to run. My cat was chewing up one of my Bibles that was sitting on the table. Shredding it. It's like not a good thing. Okay. Um, this die again is the third from the uh, largest of the smaller rectangles from that same stitched rectangles die. And then I've cut a three quarter by two and three quarter inch piece of white, which is going to mount just inside of those stitch lines for me to put my sentiment on. I normally would stamp it first, but I needed a certain size. It's much easier to do it that way. Now let's place all of these aside. Oh, and this is cut out of old olive and those are from forever flourishing dies. I'm going to be using color and contour for the flowers and for the sentiment. So let's set this aside. I'm going to be using granny apple green, garden green, polished pink. I've already created it because it would take a little bit of time and some of my rubber bands are a little bit brittle but I just took rubber bands and pulled them, wrapped them around my block and made sure they weren't twisted. Like there's a couple that are twisted but I'm going to be using the other side to block a stamp with but you just tw make sure they're not twisted. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and stamp our flowers and get those done set aside so I can die cut them out afterwards. Uh, I'll cut them out. So I will need the dies that go with that. I had them out and I couldn't remember why I need them. Stitch uh, the scalp contours. Alright. Memento black ink. Stamp it three times, and I'm using the detailed 
section. I might step an extra one just in case I decide I need it. Okay, so there's the memento. That aside, let's bring in this one and the polished pink. figure out which way it goes. I should have done that first, but okay, then I'm going to twist it and stamp it again, fill in a little bit of space. You don't need to do that. I just don't like the I like it to be a little more filled in. sentiment layer. Go ahead and stamp that. Set this aside for a minute. And that's three quarters inch by two and three quarters inch. The sentiment just barely fits on it. We're going to stamp it in that polished pink. We want to stamp it towards the right side because the other side is going to be underneath the flowers and I'd like to have the scratch paper behind it, but I can see it better on this mat if I don't have the scratch paper. Okay. Put that aside. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my Wink Estella. Another little block. I'm going to ink up with the polished pink. And I'm going to pick up the polished pink with my Wink of Stella and I'm going to color in the centers of these. You could leave them white. I just like the little bit of shimmer that added. Okay, and then just clean this off on your scratch paper until it runs clear. Okay, All right, now I'm going to bring in my rubber band block. And again, I just wrap rubber bands around in all different directions, different size rubber bands. My large ones work fine. My smaller ones are getting brittle and breaking, so I didn't want to uh, do it on camera. It would have taken a while. Okay, so I'll bring in a piece of... Um, this is a quarter sheet of um, white paper. and I'm going to take Granny Apple Green and I'm going to ink this up just like you would a um, a stamp. I'm just going to ink it up, make sure it's well covered. It is going to get ink on the side of your thing because it's a little bit uh, bigger. You could do it this way. It's fine too. Okay. It's not going to get all the areas because some of it is um it's different layers. Okay, then I'm going to bring in the garden green. I'm going to bring in a sponge dauber. I want to add a little bit of a different color as well. I'm just going to go in in a couple spots and daub in a little bit of this garden green. Not a lot, just here and there. OK, 
Okay, now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna breathe on it, huff on it, they call it. So your moist air will re-moisten any of the ink. And I'm gonna stamp on this paper. And I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna keep stamping, getting different generations of the same ink. Every time it's gonna be a little bit different. So, turn your block. Yeah, a couple corners there, so let's get a little more on there. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, then you just wash this off under the sink or with a rag. I'm just gonna put it aside. Put my ink aside, that's all the inking. Now I need a half inch strip from this edge, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's move this aside. Get this right out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a trimmer. inch strip of this. I think I'm going to use this side because it has more on it. And one inch, half an inch. Okay, I got that. Let's put that aside. Now this piece smaller of the um, uh, rectangles and we're going to figure out what part of this we want to cut out and we're going to go ahead and run that through our die cut machine. there. This piece is scrap. All right, the next thing we're going to do is cut out our flowers. So we're going to bring in the die for that. I'm going to line this up. And I always have to fiddle with it. I try to figure out where the goes, but I always have to fiddle. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and cut these three out, and then I will be right back. Okay, I've got those cut out. Now I'm bringing in those um, leaves that I cut out, and my dauber that with the garden green ink, and I'm just going to go around the edges so that this is a two-tone color. Some of it is still the gran um, old olive and some of it is granny apple. Just gives it a little bit of something that stands, it makes it stand out a little bit better. And I'm also going to cut it in half so I can use them indivi as individual sprigs instead of all together. So right about here. I'm just going to cut it in half. So I'll have four sprigs. All right. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to take this piece that we stamped with a rubber band and I'm going to mount it to the front of, to this layer that I cut out with the uh, second largest of the stitch rectangles. Put the glue down to the end. 
haven't used this yet today. Come on, glue. Just gotta get that pulled out. And once you get it started, it comes out and you don't even have to squeeze it anymore. <clears throat> And there's going to be about a quarter of an inch on either side, or a little bit less than that. Center it up. Okay. Then we're going to bring in that 5 and 1 8 by 3 and 7 8 inch piece of white. We're going to layer this on top of that. We don't need much glue, just need enough to get it stuck down. If you use too much, it oozes out, and then everything stays sticky. It does dry clear, but it gets remains sticky. Okay, make the border is about as even as I can. Stick that down. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in my card base, and I've got it scored two and a quarter and four and a quarter. On this two and two and a quarter inch section, that's where we're going to glue this panel down. So we're going to center it up on here. And how I find to do it, know where the glue needs to go, is I actually turn it over like this. So it's sitting on top of my card. And then I know I just want to put the glue down here. I don't want it to go over that. Um, fold line, then it will glue to the front of the card. Again, you don't need a lot of glue. Now we're going to go ahead and center this up. Okay, so it should, when I fold it, make that easel. Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's decorate. We're going to go ahead and adhere our sentiment to the front of this piece. And it sits just inside those stitch lines. Okay, I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of it. set this over here in this area. It's going to be about a quarter inch from the edge of this stamped layer and about an inch from the bottom. Go ahead and set that down. It's level. Okay. Now we're going to bring in two of our flowers here. We're going to put dimensional on the back of them. here. And I'm going to put one here. Okay. Now I'm going to add a couple of these leaves and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back. Just dots. Don't need much. inside there. One over here. One up here. another one over here but I'm wondering if I want to use this on the inside. Okay now we're going to bring in these other last pieces. We're going to take that half an inch strip of the stamped paper and adhere it to the three quarter by five and a half inch piece of garden green. And 
we're just gluing it straight onto that. And it's not going to have, it's going to be right to the ends. You could maybe trim it a little shorter and have it have the same dimension as the front of the card. Okay, then we're going to take that one inch by five and a half inch piece of the thick white cardstock that we scored in half. You want the fold to be facing towards you or towards the outside of the card. And we're going to adhere this strip onto that. And it's a little bit bigger, that's alright, it's going to stick off the top and the bottom just a little bit, that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to actually put my glue on this so as not to get too much glue where I don't want it. Finish it down. Okay. Now we're going to open up our card. We're going to figure out where we want this to stop. We want it up high like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the other side of that. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. Fold it flat. It's going to be flat when we're, the card's closed. And then when we want to stick our um, easel, it's going to stand up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to take one of these flowers. I think I want one right there. Yeah, that's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that right to the um, strip there. I just want the glue there on the bottom. Oops, and I should have probably put this on first, but let's go ahead and add this as well. Okay. So there we go. That looks pretty good, I think. All right, now the finishing touch. I'm going to bring in some of these facet, gold faceted gems. And just take your pick tool. Take one of these large ones. Off. There we go. Let's do it a little bit differently on this one because I don't have the same spacing, but I put one large one, and one small one, and then I'll take the medium one, and I think I'll go over here with it. Okay, so there's our card. It's the one we just made together. It opens up like this. It locks onto there to stand up onto your desk. This folds down flat to mail. Here's my original. And on this one, I just used one flower and I cut it into pieces and put it on there. But I like this full one. A little bit better. It tucks right behind there. That looks nice. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper. Uh, please make sure you check out uh, Miss Rebecca Smith, Crafting with Becca. I will put links in the description of the video, and I'll probably put an iCard on top of. Uh, going to her video that she posts. 
Okay, well, have a great day, everybody. Thank you.